Hello everybody, I'm the Tim Eister and welcome back to Dunswell. It's been a hot minute. Um, it's been almost a year at this point since I've posted on this channel and I think I owe you guys a little bit of an explanation. So um, basically, you know, I don't, I don't want to bore you guys with too many details, but anyway, last year for me was a bit tough. Uh, I was going through some personal things and at around like late January uh, of this year of 2022 I thought I could use a break from YouTube um, at that point you know I was just going through a ton of stuff and YouTube was beginning to feel a little bit like a chore and I was kind of dreading you know creating videos and it just wasn't fun for me anymore um, not because I was getting tired of actual like content creation and anything like that it's just I was at a time in my life where I just needed a break and uh, I guess an existential crisis later and a whole lot of world traveling I am back so uh, I don't know how I'm gonna do this I, I don't know how frequently I'm going to be posting videos I'd like to post at least once a week um, but the main thing for me is I want this to remain fun I want to enjoy creating content and when it begins to feel like a chore, when I have like a set schedule that I have to be uploading, um, it kind of like eventually ruins the fun. But at the same time, I realize that, you know, if I want to keep the channel going, um, you guys are going to expect content coming down the pipe. So I still have to deliver. So I don't know. I'm, I'm just going to play around with, uh, you know, creating videos again and just seeing how it goes and uh, see how you guys react I suppose and I'll just play it by ear um, all right so uh, I guess without further ado let's jump right back into the game so um, I loaded up the Dunswell save and I hadn't opened it up since January 25th 2022 so it's been almost a year at this point and the last episode that we touched on was the airport DLC. Now there's a ton of extra content that's been released for this game in the last year. And I will eventually cover that. But um, I thought for this episode, I would get into some more university campuses. So right now we're sitting at about 70,000 people in the city and I have a ton of money I'm making a ton of money so I have plenty of room to grow although it does look like we're going through a little bit of a death wave here I think that might just be due to some game updates maybe like some population rebalances and things like that but um, I think what I want to do now is getting uh, is get into a liberal arts campus and the location that I've chosen for this campus is over here on the southern shore of our city. Just because I'd like to fill in this whole area and, uh, and do that. So I'm basically just going to leave the game running and let this whole abandonment slash death wave play out. I don't think it should last too long because our population is actually going up. So I don't know. I'm not too concerned about that. Um, all right. So let's get into it. The first thing I am going to do, however, is I want to clear up, um, or I guess like smooth out this terrain, just so it makes it a little easier to build on. Because this is going to be quite a large campus. And this is actually the first liberal arts campus that I'm ever going to be building. You know, I've, I've built... Um, every other type of campus in the past, but I've never actually built the liberal, lib, blah, the liberal arts one before. <laughs> and one thing I am noticing too, I have to cover, like you guys are probably going to laugh at this, but you know, I haven't booted up the game in almost a year at this point. And even like just opening up my roads menu and exploring it a little bit this morning. Um, there's so many new road types. It's amazing. Like, look at this, even like highways, there's like bus lanes now on highways. Like, I don't even know when this was released. Uh, I know it was part of a free update at some point, but uh, I don't know when that would have been. Okay, so I guess the first thing I'm going to do is to create a sort of main entrance 
to the university campus. And I'm kind of glad that I'm building the campus over in this corner of the city because I have a ton of room to play with. You know, when I was building the first university campus in town over in downtown, it was quite challenging to get anything done and I had to like redo a, like multiple portions of downtown um, just because of a lack of space and it made that uh, quite challenging. Uh, let's see here. Does this make sense? I think I just made the same mistake. Hang on. Oh crap. Well, that's not at all what I wanted to do. Luckily, I have a ton of money. Not too worried about that. Uh, here, I think. Oh crap, I screwed it up again. Alright. Right here. Nope. Oh my god, guys. Okay, how many units do I have to bring this out? I think here. There. I just wanted it to be symmetrical, that's all. You guys know how it is. And there we go. Alright, so that's our main building. Now, I know the, the liberal arts campus doesn't quite fit the theme of this city, but, you know, I'm trying to get, like, every every uh like dlc like fully fully played through i guess um maybe if i do this oh crap hang on i do not want to do smooth slope Actually, I know I'm gonna follow it from this street. Okay, so we have our main administrative building plopped down. Now the next building we have our dormitories. Yeah, before I even do that, I'm gonna have to create a zone. Campus area. And I guess, uh, I guess for now I'm just gonna make it this whole neighborhood. And then we'll adjust accordingly as the university expands or or whatever it does. But I think this should be a good area to start off with. Sunset College. Um, that's not. I'm not really a fan of that name. But uh, if you guys can come up with a better name, that'd be greatly appreciated. Um, okay, so. You know what this reminds me of? I was recently in South Africa, in Cape Town, and I visited the UCT, or the, the University of Cape Town campus, and it kind of has the same look and feel as these liberal art college buildings. You know, the red roofs and like this grandiose kind of structures. It's pretty interesting. All right, and I think what I'll do for the dormitories is I'll create the same kind of entrance for them. So actually, you know what? I'll have one here and then one here. And then I'll just add some paths here in the middle. Oh, actually, I want to be careful because eventually I'm probably going to unlock like these giant open areas in the middle here. All right, so we have a groundskeeping building. I'll just plop this down here for now. And then a drama club. Um, yeah, I guess I'll just plop the drama club right here along the main road oh what do we have here school of education faculty provides all schools with an influx of substitute okay oh it gives everything a student capacity oh actually you know i i completely forgot guys the reason why i chose to do a university campus in this episode is just due to the lack of university availability it's as simple as that i was just kind of like browsing through what the whole city needed um doing like a, a sort of health check 
and uh, the university availability was quite low. So I'm like, oh, perfect opportunity to place down a university. So that's uh, that's basically the only thought that was um, going through my mind there. So how about I'm just going to hmm. I kind of want this campus to be somewhat symmetrical. I think I'm just going to eyeball it for this. I want this building to be sort of lined up with the administrative building. And honestly, this looks better than the administrative building. Like, this should be <laughs> the administrative building. Oh, actually, hang on. I'm going to move this. Oh, crap. I'm going to toss this aside for just a second because I want to create a sort of main entrance for this building similar to what I did for all the other buildings so far on the campus. Just like so, and then I will move this building once again to right about right about there. And are there any paths that we can connect to? It doesn't really look like it, but that's fine because I'll just create my own paths going around the building. And just like so. And I guess for now I'll do this. Okay, so of course now we have to provide water and power to our campus. And then electricity. Wait, we should electricity. Oh crap, it's just far enough to where power can't get to it. Um, here, let's Yeah, okay, I'm just going to run temporary power lines. Oh shoot, I can't do that. Wow, is does power like spread less from buildings now? I don't know. It it, I, it seems like electricity isn't uh isn't spreading quite as far as what I remember it to do. But that's okay. Um we have decently high commercial demand so I'm just gonna do like maybe like a small commercial strip maybe this might not even make a difference but let's see oh here why not why not a park boom there we go all right so our university now has power and water now this is a very basic campus for now, as we are just uh, level one. Let's see what we need to get to level two. So we need two academic works. I think this is just kind of like a random occurrence every once in a while. Uh, campus of attractiveness. I think we're gonna have to plop down a few more of some things and students are rapidly climbing. So campus attractiveness. What can we do to make our campus more attractive? I mean, we pretty much have everything we need. Maybe... Oh, wait, did I have a study hall? I didn't even plop down a study hall. We need a study hall. Hmm. Let's, uh... Boom, right there. Study hall right in the main... Oh, there's a parking lot. That kind of ruins it. Hang on, we can easily fix that. Not a problem. I think if we do like... Hang on. Uh, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? 
Okay, so I'm going to place a road like this. And then this road will make a slight... Oh, crap. There, i got to raise the road up to zero meters. Place it back. Nope, zero meters. Place it back like this. What happened there? That's not good. And then like this, and then like so. Okay, where are the one ways? Actually, why don't, instead of putting a plain old road, Let's add bike lanes. There's so many new roads, guys. This is amazing. Look at that. Boom. There, that looks way better. Now I can take the study hall and flip it upside down. Boop. There, that looks a lot better. It looks like there's more parking lots on this side. So what I'll do is bring in just a plain old street up to about here. Actually, why don't I create a little a little loop of some sorts? Hang on. There. And there's our campus so far. So if we just go into our campus area, okay, we have enough students, we have enough attractiveness. Now we just need some academic works, but this can be accelerated by, um, yeah, so that can be accelerated by pumping more money at, uh, at the problem. So research grant, cinematography, yeah. Let's give a $50,000 grant to the university. And then academic staff, uh, what does this do again? While hired academic staff accumulate a bonus to the... Oh, okay, so what if we just like... 20,000 over a whole academic year. That's a lot of money. I know we can kind of afford it, but let's, let's do 10,000. Policies. Okay, let's see what kind of policies we can do here if we can help with the uh, academic work. So, students are provided with free health care. Sure. Free lunch. Um, no, I'm not going to do that yet. Visiting scholars. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I, I don't know what that really does universal education I'm not gonna institute any other uh, policies just yet just because our attractiveness is uh, meeting our needs and we have enough students so it's basically just a waiting game at this point to uh, to get enough academic works but uh, we'll just have to wait that out actually what we can do at the same time I guess this is sort of an extension of um, this DLC is the varsity like um, stadiums <laughs> I was drawing a blank and I think uh, the only ones that we haven't plopped down yet are the aquatic center and the baseball park because if I go over to downtown we have uh, a basketball arena downtown which is not part of any campus this is totally independent um, we'll just say the city owns this stadium and then uh, we have a football stadium and a track and field. So I think, I think what I'm going to do is the liberal arts uh, college kind of fits more into an aquatic center. And then eventually uh, I'm going to be placing down a trade school and this will be attached to a baseball park. I think, I think they, they kind of go hand in hand um, a little bit better. So... For the aquatic center, um, I'm just going to, I guess I'll just place it along this road here. 
But I think the Aquatic Center deserves a sort of entrance as well. Similar to all the other big buildings. So nothing fancy. I'm just going to do this like so. Yeah, perfect. Aesthetically, it doesn't really match <laughs> the rest of the college, but it's fine. It'll look okay. Oh, I gotta give it some water. And there we go. All right. So at this point, it's just a waiting game for academic works. Act oh, that's right. Oh my God, I'm an idiot. Okay. I was thinking that an academic work was just gonna pop up randomly throughout the year. But no, uh, I think it's just at the end of the year. So let's accelerate our time here a little bit. I'd like to get through the first year. Oh, nice. Okay, we have varsity sports now. You know what? Let's take a minute to do a team. So um, the Lions team identity. Uh, let's do. Yeah, I like the Lions team color. Yeah, the purple and yellow is okay. Here, let's pump some money at this. Let's let's have some cheerleaders in here. Let's go up to like 245. What does this do? Oh, it just increases the chance of winning. Okay, and then coaching staff. Yeah, let's do the same. Let's, oh my God, 12 coaches? No, we don't need that coaching staff now we don't need that much maybe let's do like five there you know we want to have a very prosperous and good school so we're gonna start off with this here all right guys well we have a functioning campus right here in the southern part of town and it's looking good it's looking real good now, I'm excited to see what's going to happen at the end of the year. I haven't played in so long, guys. Like, <laughs> I feel like I'm just starting up the game for the first time again. Well, let's see if we can get an academic work. And then that'll do it for this episode. I can't believe, wow, this is already past 20 minutes. So, I think, I think the 20-minute mark is pretty comfortable for me as far as episode lengths. So I think I'm going to try to keep it around that time frame. But let's see here. The academic year is coming to an end. Let's see if we can get at least one academic work. Maybe yes, maybe no. Hey, we got an academic work. All right. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is off camera... Uh, I think I'm just going to breeze through the academic year. Maybe do a little bit of work off camera. Not really. I don't have much to do. Um, I'm, I think I'm just going to breeze over the city and see what it needs and figure out what kind of content I'm going to deliver over the next uh, few episodes. But anyways, um, next episode, I think what we'll do is get into the tier two reputation level. So we're going to, of course, be unlocking a whole bunch of new buildings with that and then we'll get into uh, expanding the university even further. So guys, um, I just wanna take another minute to say I apologize for not really letting you guys know. I, I kind of left you guys hanging for the past year. I just kind of like abruptly ended the series. So I, I just kinda wanna formally apologize for that. Um, but I think you guys understand. Um, anyway, I'm in, a, I'm, I'm in a much better state now so I want to keep creating episodes. I, I do enjoy it. Um, so I'm just going to see how it goes. I'm going to take it easy, you know, and uh, I'm going to just start releasing content again. Hope you guys follow along. And if you do, feel free to subscribe to the channel. It really means a lot to me. And uh, feel free to give it a like and leave a comment. Leave a comment, whatever you think. Any suggestions or any criticism, everything is welcome. So with that being said, guys, I hope you have a wonderful day and take care and stay tuned for the next episode.